guys welcome back to another random videos and in this video we have a 43 year old woman who hits somebody riding a bicycle oh uh, yeah and uh she thought she just hit a uh sign she says uh she don't she didn't know she hit someone on a bicycle but she did so let's get into the video over a driver she was driving i saw her i, w I checked the all stop i was going back yeah, I and asked you and I, I saw she didn't have a passenger near on a Mercedes. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And she, the first thing she said was, I thought I hit a person, so. I'm being temporary with me, that's just something. Hi, I'm Marie. Hi. Do you have your kids with you right now? Yes, I do. Can I talk to you out here? Yes. Affirmative. Now, let me uh, say this. There's no way you're going to mistake a uh, person for a sign. There's a BM you know saying it ain't going to happen, brother. She had to be drinking and driving or something. Uh, I'm not sure because I haven't seen this video yet, but yeah, doesn't add up. If you hit a person, you know it. Did you get a return on the plane? So tell me what happened, please. So I was leaving my house to pick my kids up from school, and I did hit something, I did, but I was going to be late to pick them up, I thought I hit a sign. I didn't know I hit a person. Where was this at? Right by my house. I thought I hit a sign, and I'm like, well fuck, I just fucked my car up. Okay. Were you, when this happened, were you on the road, or? Yes, I was on the road. Okay. Yes. So I guess how, how would you was in the cornfield? Well, you know, you veer off a little bit. So I just came from Rockford, Illinois, because I picked my father-in-law up last night okay. so they could see him trick the treating. Okay. And I dropped him off, and I even got a speeding ticket because I was going fast. I was going fast because I didn't want to be late to pick them up. Oh, my God, is the person okay? Uh, I, I don't know that right now. Um, potentially not. She is Paul. Um, so, okay. Five, so you left five, your house on J, and you were going to I Florida stopped eight, home nine, after. Four, eight, four. Oh my god. This is a lot for me right now. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Okay. So I came from Rockford. I even got a speeding ticket because I didn't want to be late that to pick them today. up. Yes, I got the ticket oh, don't in my car. Okay. And so I stopped at home and then got my car to pick them up. And I was driving down the road. I dropped my phone. I picked it up. I did hit something. I thought I hit a sign. Because I there was nobody. I didn't see nobody. I'm like, oh, fuck. I just hit something. I'll... And then you went to the schools, grabbed your kids? Yes. And then how would you end up over here? So we were going to stop at the gas station. Okay. I forgot they had all the candy from Chip Street. So I'm like, well, let's go to the gas station. They like to stop there. And then they said, oh, well, you know, we don't need candy. We have all... I'm like, okay, fine. Let's go home then. Okay. So, so you thought you had a sign. Well, why didn't you stop to check though? Because I was going to be late to pick my kids up. Okay. I've never been late to pick my kids up. And that's why I told the officer that pulled me over. Hello? I just see a person. I just want my kids to go somewhere if I'm going to jail. Yeah, we, Yeah. if somebody can come get the kids, that would be good. Am I going to jail? We got to go to jail. Of things and figure a few things out. I just hit a person, Sam. Maria is your first name, correct? Yes. What is Will your... you please make sure the guy's okay or the person that I hit? What is please. your telephone? I, the ambulance, did you see the ambulance go by? No. They, just a few minutes ago, they're taking him to the hospital. I didn't I, see nothing. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know right now. Oh my What's God. What's your phone number, Maria? Is there any way to find out if the person's okay? Um, so I think they're doing okay. They were, is he they were okay? going to the ambulance. Okay. Yep. Fuck. So today you came back from Rockford with your father-in-law. Yes. And you were running a little late, so you got. I was over. running late. I got pulled over. I got a ticket, and so I stopped at home to let my dog out. So this lady's probably intoxicated. They said they smelled alcohol. So yeah, I knew it. And then I was leaving to go pick the kids up. And I hit something, and I thought it was a road sign. 35, 34, 10, 48, 4. <laughs> um, how much alcohol have you had today? 
None. None at all? No. Okay, as I'm talking to you, I'm smelling something. I drank some last there. night. Okay, how much did you have last night? Oh, I don't know. We were trick-or-treating. I was drinking. I got pretty drunk okay. last night. Were you but down in Rockford for that or up here? No, up here. In, by the school. When is the last time you had a drink? 40. Maybe. 4, 35, 34. 6 o'clock last night? 6 p.m.? And so you got pretty drunk. How much do you think you had to drink? Oh, I didn't around? get pretty drunk. That's what you just said. I got drunk. I didn't get pretty drunk. I mean... And you've had no alcohol today? No. Do you do any recreational drugs, marijuana? No, I just like drove that? four hours. Okay. The reason I ask is as I'm talking to you, I can smell I'm something sorry. that smells like alcohol coming I did. From I had a meeting with my kid's school this morning at 8.15, and then I had to rush from there to pick my father-in-law up in Wanakee. I thought you picked him up in Rockford. No, I picked him up last night in Rockford. Okay. And I brought him here for for trick or treating. He stayed the night. Okay. So then I got, I had got up and he had a meeting with all his IEP teachers. And then I left there. I went to Wanaki to pick up my father-in-law. My husband took him to work okay. with them. So I picked him up and we went to Rockford. So you turn your phone yes. off. Yes. So you went yesterday and today? Yes. So you dropped him off in Rockford? or? Yes. Okay. He lives in Rockford. Okay. So how much alcohol did you have today? None. Okay. Because you just, you, you're kind of confusing me with your story because it's, it's. I drank last night at trick or treat. So I went and picked my father in law up last night. I drove four hours to pick him up. I brought him here. He stayed the night. He lives two hours away. So it's a four hour trip. So I picked him up, I brought him here, he stayed the night, we went trick or treating, we had a couple drinks last night, a few drinks, Okay. me more than them, but then I woke up, I had a meeting with his teachers, his IEP teachers, at 8.15, so when I left there, it was like 10 o'clock, then I had to go to Wanakee because my husband took his father to work with them. He couldn't take him home, so I took him home. That was four hours. I got pulled over. I have the ticket in my car. What time was it that you got pulled over in your about? Um, Danny, I just have a human being. This lady. This lady needs to turn her phone off. She's she's aggravating me, let alone she's probably aggravating the hell of the cops right now. Jesus, woman. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, okay? I'm probably going to jail. Is someone gonna bail me out of jail? Okay. Yes, just now when she said that, I could hear her slur in her speech. I wonder if she drank tonight, because you could hear it. I just hit, okay. Serious. I told you I hit a sign, but I hit a person. Serious. I hurt somebody. Uh, ten sixty-one by stolen Swiss vehicle accident in Howard. I'm going back to the car. Okay. So, Marie, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that you're not impaired. Because I smell something coming from your breath, so I'm okay. going to sobriety test. Okay, so what I'll ask you to do is just leave your phone in the car for now. We're going to walk back here, and we're going to do some field sobriety tests, and we'll go from there. Okay? Just just leave your phone in the car so it's not continuously ringing and distracting. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay. I'm not leaving my kids. What do you mean? i got to be able to just con here. Yep, we're going to be... Oh. We're just going to be right up here in front of this other car. Of course, other we'll we'll Alright, let me call my husband real quick. Okay, hang on a second. St Marie. What? Why do you need to call your husband? Because he told me part? to no longer have contact. He said get a lawyer. Okay. You need so, to do field sobriety testing. That does not require a lawyer. Okay, I need you to perform those tests. That's going to allow me to evaluate whether you're actually impaired or not, or if it's just a stale odor from last night's drinking. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I don't know if this is correct. Okay, well, here, here we are. Let's, let's go to the front of that truck. Let's talk there. 
We already covered, you drank last night. Mm -hmm. You haven't had anything today. Mm -mm. Um, you said you didn't take any illegal drugs. Mm -mm. Um, do you have any medical or physical conditions that affect your walking, balance, coordination, eyesight? No, you eyesight? can see me walking right now. Just questions I have to ask. Okay. Have you ever done field sobriety testing before? No. So what we're going to do is there's a, a, a few tests we're going to do that allows me to evaluate your physical ability to operate and what you safely. So because of the light, what I'm going to have you do is just stand right here where it's flat. Take one step over so we're on the left. Okay. What I'd like you to do, stand with your arms together. Or, sorry, your feet together and your arms down at your sides. You see See, get, get together, your police. Okay. I'm going to move my finger back and forth a bunch of times. I want you to follow with your eyes open. Just keep your head still. You understand? Mm -hmm. Keep your head straight. Move your head. Keep your head straight, please. <laughs> oh, keep your head straight, sorry. My contacts are. Yeah, if, you have, if you have to blank, that's fine. Now we're contacting okay. so I understand. Well, it's easier when the truck's there. You turned your head on that one, so I'm going to do that one again. Try to keep your head real still. You're still moving a little bit. We're in the middle of the road. They're behind us to make sure we don't get hit. So in that same position, what I'm going to have you do, and don't do anything until I tell you to begin, I'm going to ask you to tip your head back and close your eyes. When you, no, not, don't do that yet. When I say begin, in that same position with your arms at your sides, head tip back, eyes closed, I want you to keep your eyes closed and your head tip back after I say start for 30 seconds. When you think 30 seconds has passed, I want you to say stop. Understand? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions with that? No. Okay. I can count to 30. Just don't count out loud. That's all I ask. Okay. All right. Go ahead and tip your head back and close your eyes and start. Okay. Stop. Okay. And how long was that? 30 seconds. And how did you get to that? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Should I have got it another way? No, nope, that's just, I just want to know how you did it. So the same thing, just put your feet together, keep your arms at your sides. I'm going to have you follow the tip of my finger again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my finger in two circles around your face, and I'm going to move my finger towards your nose. I'm not going to touch your nose though. Okay. Just follow my finger with your eyes as it moves closer to your face. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. Follow your finger. Yep, follow my finger, yep. and then I'm not going to touch your face. Okay. So don't worry about that. Oh, try to keep try to keep your head still. You can't say that. So from the position you're in, oh, just stay right where you're at. Sorry. Take one more step to your left, just so it's the flatter part of the road. They'll make sure nobody gets close. So what I'd like you to do from where you're standing, straight down the roadway. Imagine that there's a straight line. Can mm -hmm. you do that? Just stay where you're at. Take your left foot, place it on that line that you're imagining. Place your right foot directly in front of it, heel to toe. Keep your arms at your sides and stand in that position while I explain this test. Do not begin until I ask you to do to start, okay. okay? Go ahead and put your feet in this position, right in front of left. Right foot in front of left, please. You said left at first. So stay in that position. Don't start until I ask you to begin. So from this position, I'm going to ask you to take nine heel to toe steps forward. On that imaginary straight line, turn around how I show you, take nine, heel to toe steps back. So I don't walk into traffic, I'm going to take three steps to demonstrate. So from the starting position, your first step is one, two, three, and so on until you reach nine steps. When you reach that ninth step, leave your front, front foot on the ground, take a series of small steps until you're facing the other way and continue one, two, three, walking heel to toe on that straight line. When you do this, you're going to look at your feet, count your steps out loud. Keep your arms at your sides. Do not stop walking until you completed the test. Take nine heel to toe steps forward. Turn around how I showed you and take nine heel to toe steps back. Do you understand the instructions? Uh, I think so. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Go ahead and begin. One, two. This is like an incline. Can I go this way? 
Well, that's going to put us in the middle of the road. I know, but it's like. Okay. Let's let's can step. You do it? Let's step right. Step right here and start there. One. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then, what, is that what you said? Just turn around how I showed you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Go ahead and step back up here. They'll make, they'll make sure we don't get hit. Yeah, you say that. They're you watching. say that. They're well, watching. Why are we here? So the next thing I'm going to have you do, and don't start until I tell you to begin, just stand with your feet together and your arms at your sides. When I tell you to begin, what I would like you to do is raise one foot, whichever one you're more comfortable with, about six inches off the ground. Wait till you say? Yep, wait till I say to begin. Raise your foot about six inches off the ground, point your toe, keep your legs straight, keep your arms at your sides, and look at your foot, and count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on. Okay. Continue doing that until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay. Yep, if you want to face that way, that's fine. We're going downhill. We're Arms going your downhill. Sides. I'm not comfortable with this. Go ahead and begin. Brain kick. Look at your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Keep going? Yep. Um, it's 39. not easy. Okay. I don't think that's going to help. That's even more I, slanted. Come, come right back up here. 15, 15, 16, 17, 18. Here we go. The breathalyzer. I'm not doing that until I talk to my husband. Okay. Why, why do you want to talk to your husband? Well, he's yet? like not so keen on police. Okay. Why is that? Okay. So... I'm I've just, done everything you asked me to do. Are you are you willing to take a PPT? Or? Yes, if he tells me I can. Okay. Well, you're an adult. You're I am an adult. You're making your own decisions. Yep, you're so right. I'd like you to just let me know yes or no now. If you're willing to do that. If you let me talk to him, I'll let you know. Well, I'm not going to delay things. See, this is why. Why can't you let me talk to him and ask because him? Because you're an adult. I am an adult. Okay. I'll take, I'll take that That's as all I'm asking is let me talk to my husband. Okay. I need you to face my truck, please. Place your hands behind your back. Here we go, brother. I do believe you are impaired right now. So you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated and causing injury. Okay. And operating while intoxicated with your children in the car. Right. I, I pass all your stuff. And, and to hit you, well. This is why you don't like police. Because we're doing well, our job. Well, the bottom no, line is you're not. you hit somebody, they're seriously injured, and you didn't stop. I didn't know I hit somebody. Well, it's a beautiful, clear day. Here's step back from my truck, please. Do you have anything on your person I need to be concerned with? No. I'm gonna have you sit here in the back of my car. Can I talk to someone? Why are you like restricting me? Because you're under arrest right now. Have a truck now. We can pass along whatever you need to to him. Big step, so step on the. Yeah, you're downhill. I know. Step on the, yep, the step there. The other way. I'll help you. Yep. Turn so you're. Go the other way. So I can get in the other. car. Get in, please, then. My reach for a second. In addition, your operating privileges will also be suspended if a detectable amount of a restricted controlled substance is in your blood. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your blood? Nope. You just have a seat on the bench. They'll take the handcuffs off when they get out here. Just because I haven't told you yet, um, the charge of using will be held on um, is hit and run involving great bodily harm and intoxicated injury by intoxicated use of the vehicle. Well, um, should you get my special loss back first? No, that takes a couple of weeks. Well, I'm going to get charged with something until you get the test results back. Well, the hit and run doesn't require... The, okay, yeah, I understand. It's the I understand. court process. I understand that one.
All right, man, it's going to be in that video. Yeah, dude, uh, I definitely think she was drinking because she was starting to slur her speech at the end there. Uh, and yeah, dude, this stuff is uh, no joke when she, especially when she hit somebody. Uh, there's no way you mistake somebody for a sign. I'm sorry. You, you, a, you, oh, man, you'll be able to tell the big difference. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, tell me what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Until next time, peace. Hey guys, if you really like these clips, give me a, a like, a share, and a follow on YouTube. All right, man? Peace.